Hey guys, how's it going? Tess back again with another episode of Career Mode. And it's actually the first part in a little mini-series we're going to be doing because, of course, we did get the France job heading into the Rio 2014 World Cup. Now, unfortunately, I, I did record the entire group stage and then the file corrupted and the earliest autosave I was able to go back and uh, try and, you know, replay the tournament so I could actually get some footage for it. Uh, unfortunately, I was only able to go back to... Uh, just after the first game so as you saw we did win the first game 1-0 against Romania unfortunately I cannot bring that game to you I do apologize but uh, Uruguay and Belgium are the other two teams in our group and they drew 2-2 in the opening game so we went into this one top of the group after uh, one round of fixtures and we come up coming up against an extremely strong Uruguay team obviously they've got Edinson Cavani and Luis Suarez up top as a front uh, front pairing which is extremely deadly but it was uh, ourselves picking up the early chances in this one. Riri not quite able to get the ball under his spell as the ball came over the top to him and unfortunately it was a tighter angle than I would have wanted when taking this shot and it was well saved. But as you can see we are on top ish at half time holding possession in uh, in this World Cup so far has been particularly difficult. I have found I'm playing the same system with France that I play at Tottenham as Luis Suarez goes very very close there. So uh, it's at least so, uh, partly familiar for me but of course it's a completely different set of players so it is still quite difficult to uh, to find the right blend of players in the formation to uh, to play some decent football because of course it was so late when we took the France job the uh, the World Cup squad had already been selected by the previous manager but nonetheless we took a great 1-0 lead there what a ball across from Paye to Benzema and a wonderful finish sliding in at the back post so I, I made a change brought a uh, Biabiani on for Ribery. Ribery was a little bit tired, still a little bit fatigued after the first game against Romania, so I made the change, freshened things up a bit, and Biabiani was involved in that first move there. Matuidi then picks the ball up, trying to get it back onto his weak, uh, his stronger rather, left foot, and then weak foot left foot this time from Karim Benzema picks up his second and our second of the game to give us a strong 2 0 lead. A really spectacular finish there, really, really nice overhead kick into the top of the net, and I was quite happy with that indeed. But just a couple of minutes left, a uh, couple of minutes later rather, Christian Rodriguez breaks down the left fires in a ball at some pace and then Luis Suarez says anything you could do Karim I can do better and that is a sensational finish the speed of the ball in and the, this technique to lean back and get his foot around the ball is similar to the goal Aguero scored uh, not too long ago I can't remember who it was against for the life of me but he scored a goal quite similar to that as he was falling backwards used the outside of his foot to uh, to angle the ball into the back of the net really really nice goal from uh, from Kunaguera and from Luis Suarez there but Sami Nasri the goalkeeper will be disappointed with that Muslera. He, uh, he just palmed that into the bottom corner and that gave us a 3-1 win. So we are now top of the group with six points. And uh, whilst we are, of course, playing in the World Cup, we do still have some Tottenham uh, matters to attend to. As you can see, we're, uh, we're going in for our annual final performance check. But again, we'll check the league table and you see we're two points clear. We are actually qualified for the next stage of the World Cup already ahead of time. We have this game against Belgium and of course the winner of that will finish top of the group and get quote unquote an easier draw for the second phase of the World Cup. But I made the... Uh, or took this chance rather to uh, to make some changes to the team. Obviously, we want our best team available for the knockout stages, so I made a lot of changes to uh, to kind of freshen things up for those players that had played two games already. And we came into this game against Belgium, and they were so good. Honestly, they were unbelievable. They were the team that we were looking for, waiting for an offer for to head into the World Cup. And I would have really liked to have been in charge of them rather than uh, than France. But still, France are a great side. So fingers crossed, we can do well with them as you go in at half time at nil nil. They brought on Dembele, obviously a former now Tottenham player we sold him on and uh, brought in some replacements so uh, a little adding a little bit more to this one and uh, Aiden Hazard should finish that I don't care he's just bounced off the defender's leg Hazard should finish that regardless of the fact that it's on his left foot but highlights every single one has been Belgium and that just kind of emphasizes the fact that uh, they were just unbelievable in this game we rode our luck for 90 whole minutes but uh, Kevin De Bruyne coming very close there with the last chance of the game left foot strike just bending away at the last minute to go around the uh, the right hand post but that went finished nil nil no goals in that as you can see the uh, the players were kind of very very um, sociable towards the end of that one because of course we have both progressed to the next stage of the World Cup so we're looking forward to the second phase of that but again we've got some more Spurs matters to attend to so you can see we uh, the board have said we've had a super season in the league they're pleased with the fact that we qualified for the Champions League they're disappointed that we didn't do so well in the Europa League this year and of course as well disappointed that we didn't do so well in either the FA Cup or League Cup but we will look to improve as we head into the next season and we 
do have quite a hefty uh, quite a hefty transfer budget to do that with 28 and a half million pounds with a wage budget for 140k of course that is uh, adjustable as well and I do have a few players that might be going out as well as some that would be coming in but I want to improve in every single position so hammer, hammer down in the comments with loads of players that you might want me to have a look at and uh, I will definitely look into bringing in some of your suggestions we need a goalkeeper regardless we need a backup goalkeeper because Brad Friedel has retired and as you can see the board want us to strengthen defensively as well we uh, we only have Danny Rose and Kyle Norton as backup wing backs to uh, to David Alaba and Kyle Walker so I definitely want to bring in a stronger wing back uh, centre backs I'm quite pleased with but uh, you know definitely wing backs and then midfielders centrally we're okay but wide we uh, I'm definitely thinking of moving on both Lamella and or Chadley because uh, they didn't contribute as much as I may have liked them to from wide areas not chipping in with as many goals as they should have done and not chipping in with as many uh, assists as they should have done but if you were uh, take a look at the screen now you can see the teams that made it through to the knockout stages of the World Cup you've got France and Chile in the top left then Ecuador no not Ecuador Colombia and uh, Argentina Italy and Mexico Spain Czech Republic Holland Belgium is going to be a big tie Turkey England Germany Hungary and the other one was uh, it was Slovenia versus the host team Brazil so definitely a lot of great ties going on for uh, for the knockout stage we'll come back next time the uh, all of the knockout games depending on how far I get of course will be uh, live comms I may upload the entire game I may only upload you know uh, I'll cut and paste highlights etc but there will be live commentaries so they'll be coming to you on the regular days for career mode uploads so this is going up on Tuesday I have Pac-Man tomorrow and then we'll have career mode or you know FIFA World Cup on uh, on Thursday and Friday and then we'll keep uh, you know going along with the regular schedule but that is going to wrap this particular video to a close guys footage is going to run out in the background so I may put the Tottenham end slate on the end of the video just now so uh, you guys have something to look at while I finish up and say thank you for all of the support you guys have given the channel especially over the last week with all of the Google Plus shenanigans going on I'm recording this on a Saturday evening we are at the height of uh, hatred for YouTube and Google Plus right now so uh, you guys have been still chipping in with the likes I know comments are down and I completely understand why but uh, again like I say do leave me some comments if you are connected to Google Plus and are able to leave some comments uh, about which particular players you might like me to look for when we get back to the Tottenham career mode for uh, for transfers coming in for the new Premier League season. But that is going to wrap this one up. So please do feel free to leave the video a like, guys. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and you're new to the channel. There is plenty of career mode and ultimate team stuff going on here. And uh, if you missed the previous episode, which will be or will have been the season finale from the Premier League with Tottenham, I will leave an annotation on screen over the play button on the end slates you can go and see that as well but that is going to bring this one to a close guys so thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time